Hi, I'm CJ from Autodesk. Today I had a lot of fun because I got to try the new Haas tooling products for the first time. Here I have one of our familiar demo parts, the gearbox cover. And I'd like to show you how I set up a one piece flow using Haas work holding, tools, and tool holders by creating a digital twin in Fusion 360. Let's see how Fusion makes it easy and Haas tooling makes it possible. One piece flow means that for every cycle, a complete part will come out. This part requires two operations, so I will use two Haas vices side by side for op one and two, which can be found in the Fusion 360 work holding library. Op 1 is going to be cut from raw bar stock, so I'll use straight hard jaws and parallels to keep the stock in place. For Op 2, we'll use a pair of soft jaws and cut the part profile into the jaws. This way we can locate the part accurately and hold onto it securely. There's also a wide range of cutting tools and tool holders available from the Haas tooling website. And these tools are available through the Fusion 360 tool library. Simply search for the geometry you need or the product IDs you have. Selecting a tool will also bring up the Haas suggested feeds and speeds for different cut types and materials. With the vices and tools all loaded up, I'll let the machine do the work to set the offsets, and I'll double check my program using machine simulation to check for any collisions. Once OP1 is done, I can take that part out and put it into the OP2 vise and load a fresh piece of stock. Here's where the one piece flow begins. After OP2, the part is complete. So let's combine setup one and setup two together. With an NC program, we can add all of the operations for the first and second OP into one NC program and also reorder to minimize the number of tool changes that will occur. And that really is how easy it is to use Haas cutting tools, tool holders, work holding, and machine models in Fusion 360.